สวัสดีค่ะ <laughs> It's me t e y a s u c h i r a If you want to know more about Thailand, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you will not miss anything about my country. Well, I have three update news about three cities, which is the most importantly I think uh, you are looking for to hear the most, which is Phuket. <laughs> Phuket right now they are very even more strict. I think they are really real fighting. <laughs> It's just because of the right now people who are going into Phuket is very complicated, very <laughs> what? Very complicated to go there. It's just because of the if they drive, they, if they go by car, they have to show a document. I think I told you in the other video already, but uh, I saw on TikTok about the. Uh, it's like a problem because the people who went there by car, they are required to check a uh, rapid test RT PCR, and I. Uh, Thai people has to pay for 450 baht per person for this test. But it's just because of the Phuket already announced and uh, request from everybody already that if you're going to into Phuket, you really need to do a vaccinated for two doses and also you need to have a rapid test to show otherwise you're not allowed. So this is what they told, but once when Thai people went there, they don't prepare anything and then uh, they yell at the uh, officer. I saw in that uh, video and I feel a little bit like, oh, this is a problem because uh, this gentleman, he just shout and like, I'm not gonna pay. Can I talk to your boss, the one speaker than you? I need to talk to someone who higher than you. I need to talk to the provincial. <laughs> you got to go and tell uh, the Phuket provincial governor and uh, this gentleman who is like, uh, like a manager of the, in that area. He said, I'm sorry, this is uh, what I am aside to collect money. And he said, I'm not going to pay. I'm going in. <laughs> Sometimes I'm happy. I don't have to do this job. <laughs> But what I, want, what I want to tell you is um, Yes, Phuket is very strict, even though uh, I think they're going to have a lot of problem about uh, this kind of process because of there are some people accept this rule and some they disagree because the thing is changed and it's more complicated. In the same time, people who have to fly to Phuket at the airport when they do check-in, they need to show the uh, two doses of vaccination or they need to show the rapid test before otherwise they would not allow to fly on the flight so um, I think uh, this is the, something to show you that Phuket they don't only say we're gonna do it but they try their best again I'm not trying to promote them but I just want to show you that this is the, what is happening in uh, Phuket and also uh, a lot of Uh, people in Thailand, they're already starting to get a vaccine. When I say vaccine, even though Thailand already gave a vaccine to many people since 28 of February, but when I say we are starting to give a vaccine, this one, it means that for everyone. But the first group that they started to give is for a person older than 60 years old and also a person who has uh, some uh, special disease, which is a uh, seven disease that uh, they would be required to get first vaccination. And after that, uh, anyone who just starting to apply and would like to get a vaccine, they're starting to give to everyone. So um, right now, a lot of the um, tourist cities, especially Chiang Mai, I think uh, you know about it, that uh, Chiang Mai also will be one of the plans that uh, they wanted to open to let the tourists to come here in October without a quarantine. I mean, a tourist who already got a vaccine to come to Chiang Mai. They have the goal to be successful within the uh, September, from the June until September. They think they need to give a vaccine for 70% of population. So they're going to be ready to open the country for foreigners to come here. So uh, it's quite interesting because of the now is the, the local governor's job to do whatever to get the uh, local people to get a vaccine, even though they don't push people 
to get a vaccine, but they try to pursue whatever to just to try them to come to get a vaccine. And uh, it's interesting because it's in uh, Matam district. Matam district, uh, I think uh, if you've been here before, it's such a beautiful mountain area and a lot of the Thai people right now, they love to go to Matam because of the, it's a place where they love to go for camping. Yeah. And uh, last year, since two years now, Thai people are crazy in camping trip. <laughs> yeah, so uh, people in Matam, they just do a promote that if you come to get a vaccine, we'll, we will give you one cow. Wow! wow. <laughs> Not one cow per person though, one cow per per week one cow per week well a cow and an animal is very important for a farmer and of course they know that um, a farmer they really want to have a cow because a cow it costs a lot if you have one cow and uh, you can make you can produce more cow from this one so it's going to be even more money so this one um, i think uh, i don't know how to they're going to give it away one cow per per week. I think they're going to have to pick like a lucky draw for each person on each week who come to get a vaccine. So it's quite tempting. <laughs> and I think it's quite interesting, like, wow, it's quite cute for Thailand and Thai culture. And uh, instead of uh, we're going to give them um, pizza, <laughs> give them a, a cow. Yeah, <laughs> would they want to go? If I had a chance, <laughs> I, I don't want a cow. <laughs> I want a car. Yes, give me a car. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the last one is about Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai is also next to Chiang Mai. And for Chiang Rai also, they are very strict as well. They said that uh, anyone who travel from four provinces, these pro four provinces need to get uh, two doses of vaccine or you need to show the rapid test before you fly. So if in case any of you live in these four uh, provinces, please be prepared. Uh, these four provinces who are traveling to Chiang Rai is of course Bangkok, <laughs> Bangkok, Pathum Thani, and Nonthaburi and Samut Prakan. If you guys don't have any document to approve that uh, you are safe from COVID-19, you need to do a quarantine for 14 days. SMS Phuket as well. If you go there and you don't have any test to show them, to prove them that uh, you are safe from COVID-19, you will be required to do a quarantine for 14 days. So right now I want to suggest you, if any of you uh, right now in Thailand or are planning to come to Thailand uh, soon, 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 I would like to suggest you to just call or contact the hotel where you're going to to ask them for the latest updates because uh, some of you guys also write email to me contact me and ask about each destination right now it's like almost <laughs> every hour <laughs> they change the plan <laughs> So you got to call directly to your own destination and then the, once when you arrive there, you can ask for a leader, like a, a leader of the, that village and uh, ask them what next you can do. But you can go anywhere in Thailand, just only depending on each uh, local area's rule, that is all. So uh, just stay safe and uh, travel safely and you can enjoy everywhere in Thailand, especially right now. We are getting to a rainy season in Thailand and it's super humid. <laughs> yeah, it's super humid and um, I, rarely, I rarely go out of my room because of the weather is so hot. But however, um, I want to show you another beautiful flower. <laughs> Oh, my mother, she's so happy, especially when I tell her about, oh, people love your flower. They think oh, it's so beautiful. She's so happy. And uh, my mother, she's, uh, she watched my YouTube as well. My mother, she doesn't understand English and even Thai. <laughs> she cannot write properly or she cannot read properly, but she still keep looking at me on the YouTube and uh, with this flower. So I think uh, this video can attract her a lot because of her flowers here. If you like it, <laughs> 
please give me a thumb up. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe this video. And this my channel is not a new channel. It's just like a special content that uh, I provide information for you to get you into Thailand as soon as possible. And when it's no more COVID-19, I'm going to focus more about Thailand information to get to to let to get you to know my country is better and uh, if you're interested please make sure you subscribe and also if you appreciated this video and you feel like you want to support me you want to support my channel you want to buy me a coffee you can have a look in the description how to buy me a coffee and for today it's so hot <laughs> and it seems like it's going to rain thank you so much for watching until the end i'll see you next time very soon สวัสดีค่ะ